to take all this in. So much has happened today. Everybody's so, <laughs> said, so exhausted from all the emotions of everything yeah. we've gone through today. Um, and a lot of people here today could relate to an earlier celebration in 1985 because they'd experience it. And Amy Holly met some neat people who can compare the two. Yeah, it's a really a fascinating dichotomy. Let's listen. Well, if you were born in 1986 or after, this is really the first time you've ever been able to experience a phenomenon of a celebration like this. What'd they say? 500,000 to 750,000 people down here today? Unbelievable. The crowd has dwindled a little bit, but the party is still going on a little bit. Hey, here's the confetti. But people who were down here in 1985 say there were a few differences from confetti to the crowds and wolf fires. <laughs> It was the greatest day, one of the greatest days I've ever had in my life. Which is what this guy also said 30 years ago in 1985. I wanted to feel it, you know, it's like the city. You can feel the city right now. I mean, it's like this whole town is pulsing. And these two relived the moment when they snapped a photo with the newspaper's headline at the parade in 1985. So I got a newspaper for this one, and we're going to come down here and take another picture 30 years later. The city learned a lot after its first World Series parade. This time, fans were kept back with barricades to chant their favorite player's name. Or if you were like Danny Duffy, you went to the fans. And another change, the shower of confetti shot from 16 cannons. This time, didn't cause any problems. The headlines, this is 1985, and today's royalty. And by the way, it was much tamer. The confetti causing no problems today. In 1985, it caught fire. Underneath Royals great Willie Wilson's car, he had to jump out and walk to the rally. It was a bunch of stuff being thrown at us from like right here. And uh, so we had to stop, my car caught on fire, George's car caught on fire, and about time uh, we climbed up the wall, came up the back way, and about time they introduced me, I was just walking on the stage, so it was perfect. He was so gracious to talk to me today. So many people wanted to talk to him. Everybody knows he is a Royals great. Willie Wilson now, uh, he's a father of three. He's now a television sports analyst, and so he.